Now, the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office is investigating human remains found by a hiker in the Stampede Pass area as a homicide case. Cap KVU's Emily Goodell spoke with the Sheriff's Office today about where that investigation stands. Emily. What we do know so far is that deputies believe there was foul play and that the person has been dead for at least a few months. However, investigators are keeping a lot of this information withheld from the public. They say it's for good reason. So our intent is to develop information, discover a suspect, conduct that investigation, and confirm our suspicions before that person ever knows about it. And if we release information prior to that, they have the opportunity to cover tracks. On Friday afternoon, a hiker in the Stampede Pass area saw something suspicious and called 911. One of our patrol deputies responded and pretty quickly was able to locate uh, and identify what were obviously human remains. Investigators didn't disclose the exact location, but Stampede Pass is near the border between Kittitas and King Counties. Deputies said due to the length of time the remains have been outside and the state of decomposition, the body was not immediately identifiable. The cause of death is also unclear. Deputies say they haven't received any reports of people missing out of the Stampede Pass area, but are looking into other possibilities. Most recently, we had a suspected homicide of Ian Eccles, who was in the Liberty area when we believe he was killed by a person who's in prison. And it's not impossible based on what we know that this could be Ian. It's a possibility that we're certainly exploring, but we don't know it by any means either. Those human remains were released to the King County Medical Examiner's Office, which conducted an autopsy earlier today. Kittitas County investigators say they're going to be going over those autopsy results in the next couple of days. And from that, they hope to learn more about what happened. Reporting live from our Yakima studio, Emily Goodell, Cap KVU, Local News.